I had played with a mutual friend of Miles. He's a trumpet player by the name of Dion. And uh, in Jamaica, Queens, where I'm from, there was a club called the Aphrodisiac. And I played this gig with two drummers. It was Rashid Ali and myself. And so, you know, during the break, trumpet player came over and said, man, has Miles ever heard you play? I said, no. He said, man, I'm going to tell him about you. I said, yeah, right, sure. You know, I, Next thing I know, I get a call uh, to go, come over his house and rehearse. Um, and he said, just bring a snare drum and a cymbal. And it was Chick, uh, Dave Holland, Jack, Wayne, Miles. I don't think John McLaughlin was there. And all we rehearsed was the beginning of Bitches Brew. Diddle doo, diddle doo, diddle doo, diddle doo, bo, bo. That's all right. And he said, okay, come to. Uh, Columbia Studios at 10 o'clock tomorrow. And it was the actual same week of Woodstock, 1969. Man, the first, I got bad hearing in this ear right now, but the first couple of years with Return to Forever, um, it was very, very physical because you know, a drummer has to, you know, at that point there was no amplification, f f you know, like drums, you know, you do like this and turn the piano up. And then it got to the point where, no, this wasn't enough. So you take the piano and plug it into a, a big, huge amplifier, but the size of a cigarette machine. And the bass is like that. So like you had to play to match that volume. Oh, man, it was, it was crazy. Man, you know, like at the end of the night, you know, like you, you wouldn't know it, but your hands would bleed because you hit your hand on the drum and, you know, you wouldn't know because you, you're trying to play to match the mass and the volume of the music, you know. So it was a, it was a challenge, you know, because um, it was different from playing acoustic instruments. But then, you know, like they had acoustic bass and you plug it into a this amplifier this big and it's like, you still got to match that sound, you know. But it was a great time because there was this healthy competition and it made the music rise up to a real high level. Because, you know, like you could not play on the bandstand and have the band before you sound better than you. That, that was not going to happen, you know what I mean? So you had this competition between these bands, these famous bands. And uh, that was a healthy competition, again, because it raised the level of the music. That was very, very special. We need that back, you know. We need that, that spirit has to come back.